good morning everybody it's 4 30 and well a.m. over on the California coast Kelly coast I love that Kelly Kelly coast <laughs> I'm a little delirious um, I want to apologize for the last video but at the same time I don't it's kind of that sorry not sorry thing for the people that are hurt and you know who you are I am truly sorry for the people that were hurt by this person I am truly sorry and and I'm gonna leave it at that you guys recognize Nimi I have to be serious this is nefarious and he He's pretty smart. He's a smart one. Is he really awesome with computer stuff? Yes. He is kind of the, <laughs> on the opposite spectrum of me. If you know how to turn on a computer, you're already way ahead of the game when it comes to better than I am at stuff like this. So, I decided to see what he was up to since he's always up late doing his nefarious type things. See what I did there? And I was cracking up because, let's see, where is it? Okay, let's watch this part right here. Because he was, he tries to tell me that he's not mad. He tries to tell everybody he was bothered. And, and look at, look how he's got my Grandpa Rick up there. You guys know how I love Rick and Morty. Not too many people understand this cartoon. This cartoon is just like way ahead of its time. I don't care what anybody says. I love that cartoon. Okay, here we go. And can I just say again? Why? Why? That screw was in his bag right there. He really is a star. Um, for all of you that weren't paying attention, somebody, was it Eminem? Somebody was explaining that rapping fast isn't really hard. It's when you rap fast, it's understandable. There's content. That's something. If you rap at a good pace, there's content and it's still understandable. That is impressive. So, for all these people that are rapping fast but it doesn't make any freaking sense, meh. I'll have to find that, that interview. There was an interview about that because a lot of people are like, well, you're just rapping slow. There is no bad rapping unless there is no content, unless there is no point. That is the point. Okay, sorry, Nefarious. Every time, it gets me every time, because it's just like, ah, it's true. It's true. Uh, uh, that's that's some bitch shit too. Like, how in the hell are you gonna diss some di diss the people that you're rapping with on a song that you're rapping with them with? <laughs> I kind of skimmed through. I know a Jay Z kind of a line. And when he said this, I'm like, did did he just say that? Listen. And then he did the camera effects, which I really like. And one nigga rapping about his dick. <laughs> you like a f 
it, every time it gets me every time because it's just like ah it's true it's true like, uh, uh, that's that's some bitch shit too like how in the hell are you gonna diss some di diss the people that you're rapping with on a song that you're rapping with them with <laughs> like like what the fuck dude that's that, that is some next level bitch shit You guys know he reminds me of Jimmy Fallon, but why does he sound like a different actor? I don't know. I, I can't think of the name right now. Almost the guy from Tropic Thunder I'm trying to think of. Hmm. There's Tupac right there. I don't know where Nimmy's at. But he's, he's got our California king over here. Hmm. All right, so let's go over to here. And you notice he's eating a bowl of cereal. So now we get this this look. I like the uh, old school poster look. It was back in the day when posters used to come in magazines. I don't know if they still do. I don't even know if you guys even look at magazines anymore, other than for nostalgia. And there used to be these teen magazines and um, heartthrobs and I don't know. Um, you would get your rappers and you would get your heartthrobs and boy band and, da, 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 and you would put them all over the walls. Kind of like this Stan video where Stan Lee was, had Eminem everywhere. Yeah. So, anyway. See what happens. I don't really, you know, basically I don't really push audios, but if you pay for a video, screw. basically, I'll push it. And then in my head, I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't see him really pushing audios as much as you push a video. Uh, YouTube is a video platform. I get it. I get it. I'm learning still. I get it. I said, okay, cool. He charges me like another. 14 or 1500 for the video, right? So he charged me for the verse, charged me for the video, and mind you, he said, if you pay me, you know, I'll push it. It's the video. Seriously? No, I, I saw that. Everything that Screw is saying. But why am I looking right past Nimi towards Rick? Pickle Rick there. There's Morty. I'm dying for season four. You guys may never see me again when season four starts. I'm just kidding, but not really. Now I look like an idiot for first defending him. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, that's not gonna fly. Cause it's people like you who don't deserve to be in the industry Cleaning all those toilets turned you into a shitter And now you take advantage of artists just to get yourself bigger You a bitch the way you talk down to screw face John And even Tory Lanez made you put a stupid face on Like rapping for the people, you a rapper for the bitches Fuck that, you ain't a rapper for nothing except the business Charging for a verse when only a million knows your name Definition of a culture vulture, you don't deserve the game And if Eminem ever does get you on a beat I hope he charges you so much, you barely get to eat As if you want some damn award Man, I look like a fool For giving you the benefit of the doubt So go back to being a janitor And take yourself out You fuck it, you know what, fuck it Cut the beat, cut the beat I'm not giving him any more of my fucking time, yo Cut it We're done here It's really good, I guess it takes Nim to get mad Wow Very, very good. I don't know, you guys. I'm sorry, but I'm not a person that likes to crush people's dreams. I'm too busy doing that over on this side of the camera. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but not really. Um, You really think that Eminem is going to ever 
get on a track with he does very few features I could go on Twitter right now right this very minute and ask every stan whether they be a stan for the very first month or a stan from the very first like my sister have her listen to all of the music that Sideshow just put out or from when he first started and she could listen and she could tell me herself what he would mess with or not because he does very few features he doesn't really like too many people on his album he studies he listens he has to really like you he has to not just like your music he has to like you you have to be about something you can't have any kind of um, flaws like this you can't be screwing over your own people and no pun intended you can't you you can't be about harming your own um, I think I heard one video where somebody was saying yeah Eminem uh, dissed um, people and and some people that he was running with and blah blah this would be the equivalent of Eminem running with D12 in the very beginning and then turning around and then dissing D12 in their own song. Makes no sense. And no. To me anyway. I'm trying to give you guys a, a picture of it. It doesn't make sense. That's the kind of loyalty that Eminem has. If you don't have loyalty for all you fans out there, fine, keep keep loving Dax. I'm not telling you not to. Think for yourself. I commend you for having a backbone. But I'm all I'm trying to say is, if your leader is trying to get to Eminem, Eminem is all about don't be a sheep. Don't follow people. Think for yourself. And I know you're going to say, well, what about you guys? You guys all follow Screw. Actually, Maybe some of us do, and maybe some of us follow a lot of different people. I follow several, and it's not just following, it's about supporting. That's how I look at it. So if you look at it as you're supporting Dax, okay, let's break down that word, supporting. You support somebody who would lie to you. You would support somebody who would steal from up-and-coming people that haven't done anything to anyone. You would steal from somebody who has made great videos. I can't tell you how many mornings like that I've gotten up and I've just been miserable or I'm like, oh God, the dishes or oh God, you know what the heater went out and I'm freezing or my my poor babies are so sick, you know, before I was even on YouTube, and I'll put on Screw, and the first thing he does is intro, makes me laugh, then I'll jump over to the Evolve, or No Cloud, or just one of the, just watching the game, No Life Shack, to hear him laugh, those are the guys, but it all started with Screw. That's why. Because normally you wouldn't see me doing any of this. I do stand alone. I don't like following anybody. Um, I like to be a loner. I, for the most part, am. And I am a... What do they like to t call themselves? An introvert? I'm an ambivert. I'm extroverted and introverted. I do fine all by myself. If I have to do anything, I'm great. If I have to work in a group, I'm even better. No matter what, I'm going to be okay. But I like to see others succeed. I really do. So, anyway. Go support Nefarious. He's the young one. And I give him a hard time. 
Don't you dare call him Nimi. Only I can call him that. If you have a problem, come to my channel. We'll talk about it. And, uh, yeah. Remember this. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I think that was on Jeepers Creepers. That ought to freak you guys.